So this was MML uh, problem 7.5.53. And you're asked to find the area of the region bounded by the curve y equals 20 over x squared minus 6x minus 91, the x-axis and the lines x equals negative 3 and x equals 3. So I've drawn the region for you, and this is the area of the area of the area shaded in for you. So let's build the integral. The integral is going to go from x equals negative 3 to x equals 3. And the curve on top is the x-axis, and the curve on the bottom is the 20 over the quadratic x squared minus 6x minus 91. Oops, excuse me. What is that? 91. So there's um, not many options here. I'm going to pull out that constant and drop this negative 3 to 3. And we're left with 1 over x squared minus 6x minus 91 dx. So there's no option here as far as substitution goes. So I know it's a rational function. I probably should have left that 20 in. Let's see how it goes. Um, let's try partial fractions. We could easily factor this thing. So um, completing the square wouldn't be one that I would go to. So partial fractions, partial fraction decomposition. Let's put that 20 back in and pull aside the rational function. And let's set up the decomposition. So this is going to factor, let's see, um, 91 factors into 13 and 7, right? I think that's it. Yeah. So we're left with x minus 13 plus b times x plus 7. Let me pause here for a second. So let's continue this partial fraction decomposition and multiply the entire equation by the denominator factored. And you're left with minus 20 is equal to a times x plus 7 and b times the quantity x minus 13. So I think the easiest thing to do here would be to, to pick values for x. So I'm going to let x equal negative 7 so that I can get rid of this term. So I get negative 20 is equal to a times 0. Oh, I have to pause again. Excuse me. So continuing with this, when x is equal to negative 7, I get negative 20 here. So b is equal to 1. And if we let x equal 13 in order to get rid of this term, you get minus 20 is equal to a times the quantity 13 plus 7 plus b times 0. And here you're left with a is equal to negative 1. So now let's put the coefficients back in and integrate. So now we can replace the integrand. And we're left with minus 1, a is minus 1, so minus 1 over x minus 13, plus 1 over x plus 7, dx. So let's take the antiderivative here, and you get minus ln of x minus 13, plus ln of x plus 7, the absolute value, right? Remember, you would have to let u equal x minus 13 if you don't understand what I just did there, and you're left with dx, and this is minus 1 over u, du over u, which is ln of u. So now we can evaluate this between the limits of integration, which were negative 3 and 3. Okay, let me do that. So we're left with minus ln of, <coughs> excuse me, 
excuse me, x is 3, so this is minus 10, the absolute value plus ln of 10, minus the quantity, minus ln of minus 3, minus 13, plus ln of minus 3 plus 7. <clears throat> okay, so this is just minus ln of 10 plus ln of 10, right, which is going to go and cancel out, go to 0, and left with minus, minus ln, the absolute value of minus 16 plus ln of 4. So let's do our log math. This is the equivalent of, and notice that you've got a 16 and a 4 here. So if I reduce this into powers, right, that expression is going to become ln of, and it's the absolute value, so this is 4 squared plus ln of 4. And I did that so I can further simplify this. So this is minus 2 ln of 4 plus ln of 4, and we're left with minus a negative ln of 4. So the answer here is ln of 4.